Hey guys, how you going? Uh, my name is Dom and welcome to your 8th Dom7 tutorial. Uh, so in this one, I want to take you through uh, working with events inside Dom7. Um, so uh, with Dom7, it's actually um, quite straightforward to add events to um, your elements and your selectors. Okay, so you can see here I've got this unordered list on the page. We have bananas, apples and grapes. So um, we're going to be adding and removing events to um, this list and also the list items. Okay, so um, inside the source code for this document, um, it looks like this right now. So we have um, the unordered list right there um, with an ID of my list followed by the three list items. Okay, so um, let's add an event listener to the entire list. Okay, so um, inside the JavaScript, let's just first select the actual unordered list. Okay, so down here, um, we're going to use DOM7 to select the um, the ID of my list, like that. Okay, and then we're going to use the on method. So we're going to say dot and then on. Okay, so um, this will add an event listener to um, uh, all of the elements inside the selector. So in this case, it's going to be a single element. Okay, so my list on, and then this will take a few arguments. Let's pass click as the first argument. This means we're going to listen for a click event. Okay. A second argument will be um, the function to actually run. So we'll pass a function inside here and accept the e event um, parameter. All right. So um, inside here. Um, this function will run when this list gets clicked. So uh, I'm going to firstly just alert and say it was clicked. All right. I'm also going to console.log um, e, so that e right there, the actual event. And also I'm going to console.log this. Okay, so um, if I was to save this and refresh the browser, and then click on this list, we get it was clicked. And inside the console, we get the native JavaScript event object and also um, the value of this. So when the event gets clicked on um, and you use a regular function inside here, this refers to um, the actual unordered lists. Okay, so um, that is the most basic event inside um, DOM7. All right. So um, we can also use or create a delegated event. So um, a delegated event is basically where you, um, you specify um, the parent element and then add um, an event listener, sorry, an event listener for, um, uh, for the children. Okay, so in this case here, we have the parent, which is an unordered list, and also we have a bunch of list item children. Okay, so um, to create a delegated event, we simply pass in an extra parameter here or extra argument, and that'll be um, li. So we're saying um, my list on click. Um, technically, it's going to be for every list item inside this my list. When that gets clicked, then run this function here. Okay, so um, this is a delegated event. If I was to save this and refresh the browser, and then click on um, a list item, for example, bananas, we get it was clicked once again, um, getting the event, but this time we're getting bananas as the this, um, as the this object. All right. Clicking on apples will give us um, apples right there. And obviously grapes will give us grapes. So that right there is how you can do delegated events um, using DOM7. All right. Um, we can also remove an event off um, um, an element or a group of elements. Okay, so um, let's actually move this function um, inside, or let's just move it outside of um, this function call. So let's put it up here, okay, and just give it a name. For example, function, and we can say my handler. All right, so I have a standard JavaScript function, and now I'm going to pass in my handler as the third argument. So this will achieve the same effect as earlier. So I can save this and refresh and we get the same result. 
click on this and we get that right there. Okay, so um, with this method, we can now actually remove um, this handler or this listener um, off um, each one of these list item elements. Okay, so um, down here, let's say uh, hashtag my list once again dot on sorry dot off. So it's called the off method um, to remove an event listener. So dot off and then pass in here, click ally and then my handler. So we're passing in um, the same arguments as the on method um, and that'll actually remove the event listener. So I can save this and then refresh the browser. If I was to click on one of these, the event is now gone. So um, that is the off method. Um, we can even um, just remove here um, the delegated event. So back to a regular event. Um, when this list gets clicked on, um, this won't run. So I can save this and refresh and now um, the same result. All right. Now, um, we can even trigger events using DOM7. So this means we're going to basically create a virtual event. So we're going to pretend that this um, list was actually clicked on. Right, so I'm going to comment out this off method call. So we're going to keep the event on the actual list. All right. Then down here, we're going to trigger um, the click event. So um, we're going to once again just select the um, the my list unordered list element, and we're going to say dot trigger. Okay, so that is the trigger method right there. We're going to pass in um, click like that. So we're going to trigger the click event, um, and inside here we're going to pass in an object which will be. Um, the actual data for the event inside the detail property. Okay, so um, I can just say, for example, here name as being decode. So they will pass in a custom event object and call the click event on this my list. So um, if I was to save this and now refresh the browser, um, instantly we get the alert box and a custom event object inside the console and inside the detail property we get name and then decode so we can see how it all links up right there and of course we get the unordered list as the um, as the this object okay now what's good about DOM7 is you can actually um, you can pass in multiple um, event types inside a single um, on method call so we can say okay my list on click and also putting a space inside here, we can even put something like mouse over like that to say when this item gets clicked or it has the mouse over, then run this event handler. Okay, so um, if I was to save this now and refresh the browser and hover over, that was the custom event. Let's just comment that out real quick. Right, so we can try again, save this and refresh. If I was to hover over the lists, we get it was clicked. So that doesn't make sense right now, but um, you get the point. Um, you can add multiple events to um, a, a group of elements using a space between the on first argument. Okay, now one last thing um, with DOM7, you can even put um, the events on one time. So I can say this, I'll just remove this mouse over and use the once method instead. So once is basically the same thing as the on method. However, um, as the name sort of suggests, um, this means that this right here is going to run once. So once this thing gets clicked one time, then um, the event will no longer work. So I can save this and refresh the browser and click on this the first time. It works. If I was to click one more time, um, it no longer works. So that is the um, the once method right there. All right, so that right there is how you can use or um, handle or work with maybe um, events inside the DOM7 library. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.